Hey, this is Sri Hari from Mr. Phone, and today we are in front of you with a phone that not many people have been able to look at in detail. And today, with the Vivo Z1 Pro, we are going to delve deep into the cameras of the phone and tell you a little bit about it. So, without any further ado, let's jump right in. That's it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then you are missing out on a lot because we are putting out awesome videos on a daily basis. So subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when those videos drop. The Vivo Z1 Pro is a phone for Generation Z, and what that means is that cameras are at its core. The main sensor on the phone is a 16 megapixel sensor. The 16 megapixel sensor here comes with an f 1.78 aperture, which means that by default the low light performance should be good. Now while that 16 megapixel sensor is enough for almost 80% of your pictures. The Z1 Pro also has a special wide angle lens for those ultra wide beautiful landscapes and those funky looking wide shots. Lastly, we have a depth sensor which makes sure that your portraits come out crisp and look DSLR like. On the front sits a 32 megapixel camera and it sits inside the display of the phone. So yes, the Vivo Z1 Pro is one of the very few phones under 20,000 that come with an in-display camera. Now, now that we've taken a quick look at the camera hardware of the Vivo Z1 Pro, let's delve into the software and let's see what are the kind of pictures that you can achieve with the Z1 Pro. The first is a standard shot. No filters, no bokeh, just a simple standard shot. This can be of a wide area, maybe a building, maybe your friend or anything that you find beautiful. Now the picture already looks good without adding any filters. That said, imagine you want to add some spice to the picture or just want a different feeling in the pictures. What do you do? Just turn on filters and choose from it. You have so many filters already inside the camera app to choose from. Or better yet, if you can't choose for yourself, let the AI inside the phone choose for you because what it will do is it will understand what the situation is like and choose the perfect filter for you. What that means is that you just need to point your camera to whatever you want to shoot and the phone will do the rest of your job. Now maybe you are taking a picture of your favorite eating place and you want to show it off to all your friends and just show how cool that place is. You can either use the standard sensor and take three or four shots to cover the whole area or just turn on the wide angle camera and that camera will capture all of that place in one single picture and also look good while doing that. Now in my phone, more than half of the pictures are of people, of my friends, of my family, uh, of my co-workers, of Ershad because we keep doing camera tests. So what happens is that when you're clicking pictures of a face, portrait mode looks perfect. And the Z1 Pro has both the hardware and software prowess for it. A separate dedicated depth sensor makes sure that you get an accurate cutout. But more importantly, the software lets you choose between different portrait modes from mimicking studio lights and loop lights to having a monochrome background all without going out of the camera app. Now, if you talk about selfies, you have the same array of portrait modes. You have one of the most detailed and versatile beauty modes that you can find anywhere. You can literally move and change every tissue and muscle on your phone. Uh, inside the beauty mode of the phone, what you can do is you can go and change things like skin tone, you can whiten your skin if you want or darken it, you can make a thinner face if you want, you can resize the face a little bit, the face shape to fit whatever you like, you can play with the jawline as well. So. Apparently, you don't have to go to a gym to improve your jawline. You just need a Vivo Z1 Pro. You can also play with the eyes, the size of the eyes, so that it looks a little more engaging. You can do all sorts of things with the beauty mode, with the dedicated beauty mode inside the Vivo Z1 Pro. Now, while we all like taking pictures in daylight and looking at them, I think we all have been in situations where the light is maybe not that good, but you have something that just looks stunning and you want to take a picture of it. Now, with the Vivo Z1 Pro, you actually have have night mode again one of the very few phones under 20,000 to have a dedicated night mode along with an amazing sensor with an f 1.7 aperture so you are in for a crazy night mode pictures now these are the kind of pictures that you can get out of the z1 pro using the dedicated night mode
in the end for the professional photographer out there people who want to control everything you have a well laid out pro mode as well where you can control the exposure shutter speed iso wide balance and even focus so manual focus is something that truly comes in use where you have complex situations for example i was at the deer park near hoskas village and i wanted to click a picture of this rabbit which was inside the cage and it was a very complex shot to take so what i did is that i just fired the pro mode and manual adjusted the focus which resulted in the retail image that you see right here now in the camera app what you can also do is if you remember apps like cam scanner uh, where you want to take a picture of a document and you want to resize it you can actually do that within the camera app so you can just go to the dock mode take a picture and it will instantly cut out all the area with text now that is amazing functionality straight out of the camera app now if we move from the camera app to the gallery there is another set of hidden features that even i did not know about for a long time when you go to the gallery and you take a look at the picture you take a look at the picture and you want to edit it apparently vivo has a whole fully functional fully laid out editor inside the stock camera app and it's simply amazing because literally going inside the editor you can change so many things first you have things like filters where you can go and add already made custom made filters uh, where you don't have to tweak every little thing and you can choose the kind of look that you want if you don't want that if you actually want to control how it looks you can go into the editor and change things like exposure brightness contrast sharpness saturation color temperature you can also add vignetting to it also maybe correct the vignetting inside the photo within the gallery app hell apart from that another thing that i found is you can add text in it you can add stickers to it there are borders you can add you can add a mosaic effect even in the photo and there are so many light modes that you can add to add light flare into the photo maybe a neon effect these are all the things inside the album inside the stock gallery app of the vivo phone so you can actually take up to 4K footage with the Z1 Pro at 30 fps or you can take 1080p footage up to 60 fps with the Vivo Z1 Pro natively so what that means is that you have already capability to shoot really good footage out of the phone but as i told you earlier you can also edit the video so the video that you're seeing right now this short clip has been edited entirely using the Vivo Z1 Pro so you can add text here if you want you can add different types of animations in those texts you can change the color mode if you want the color also the color grading in this video has also been done using that phone and you can add music if you want so vivo z1 pro actually lets you shoot footage edit that footage right inside the phone without installing any other app so out of the box you can do this with the vivo z1 pro now of course we saw that the vivo z1 pro cameras are really really good even the 32 megapixel selfie camera is simply awesome but there's another thing about the vivo z1 pro it's not just cameras so if you see the specs of the vivo z1 pro as you see on the screen right now it comes with the snapdragon 712 inside the phone it's probably one of the first phones in india to come with snapdragon 712 it's a higher clocked variant of the 710 which means that you'll get better everyday performance on paper compared to a 710 and to support that powerful processor inside the phone you also get 5000 mah battery and an 18 watt fast charging now fast charging from vivo is something we all know dual engine fast charging is simply amazing and you get 5000 mah battery inside this chassis so that is the vivo z1 pro uh, please stay tuned for the full review because that is also coming out very soon but till we do the first review in the few days that i've spent with this phone this does look like a very promising prospect so let me know what you think about the z1 pro do you think this is a phone that you will put your money on do you think you're going to buy the z1 pro let me know that in the comment section below let me know if you liked the cameras on the z1 pro as well also if there's any feedback that you want to give us please let us know that in the comment section below but with that i leave you to it thank you so much for watching this is shri hari from mr phone with there's a notification another one but i think i'm going to have to leave so i leave you to it thank you so much for watching this is shri hari from mr phone and i'll catch you in the next one